another day of CEO tips. So, this is another video of CEO tips because uh, something really cool happened. I uh, started this day by just going and uh, in the tournament and uh, destroying other ships. So, uh, yeah, I had two fights this day. Well, three actually, but uh, we'll talk about the third one on the end of the video. So the first one, it was pretty easy. I just destroyed the ship and killed him, he just gave up some point anyway. But uh, what's the better part is the second fight, because um, uh, I think this is the best fight of my life. Not because it's cool or anything, um, uh, it wasn't because of a crazy aim on the cannons or a crazy board, a crazy deck shot. No, it was just shooting the cannons and bailing out water. But anyway, let's start the story. So after I killed the first guy, I got uh, loot. A lot of loot, I had like 100 and a bit cannonballs. But anyway, I go into another fight and uh, yeah, I... Uh, from what you've seen in the first part of the video, this happens on the in the first part of the fight. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, that didn't really give me a huge disadvantage. But uh, after I respond, I realized this opponent had a crazy aim. He would shoot me from the other side of the ring. Literally, it's so. He was a really good at aiming. So uh, he boarded my ship, I think, two times. And uh, he did a grave mistake because he left my ship early. Uh, I would have been sunk long, uh, really, really fast if he wouldn't have left my ship after he boarded it. But he left and I could save my ship. But the interesting part is this one, when he boards me second time, he kills me because he had a blunderbuss. By the way, fuck blunderbusses, I hate them so much. It's okay if you play with a blunderbuss, I guess it's in game, so it's okay. But I have no clue how to avoid them, it's so annoying and he killed me because, yeah. But the mistake is that he left my ship and uh, I uh, started bailing out water, of course, while he was shooting me. But at some point I realized this cannot end another way. I can't, I can't go ahead and bail water non-stop, it will work at some point. So I just started firing cannons. Now uh, this went on for a lot of time, you can see on the screen the best, the closest moments I had uh, before sinking, but this went on for a really long time anyway. Uh, and it went on so long that I started running out of supplies, so uh, I realized that uh, First of all, I realized that I actually have a chance in this fight, which I was pretty surprised by. I almost sank, but uh, I had still had a chance. And uh, the second thing is that the second thing I realized is that 
this guy will exactly like me will not go down without fight so what did i do i uh, switched from bailing out water and cannons to repairing and cannons because i saw that this guy if i was on cannons he will not cannon back because it's a sloop and it's easy to hit the guy on the cannon so uh, i realized that and i cannoned and repaired until my ship was repaired and then i gathered my last my last cannonballs and fired them all at him and boarded the ship with my heart racing because if i miss something up mess something up i would have been screwed because i had zero cannonballs left i went there I helped him repair his ship, so I boarded as fast as possible, went there and killed him. Luckily for me, he was uh, pretty low, so I caught him off guard, killed him and he finally sank. I uh, went back to my ship before, he actually sank because I was afraid to not still have a hole or something in the ship and to sink before him. That would have been a disaster. But anyway, I sank him. He, wa he had such an advantage on me. You saw how close he was to sink me. I you just analyze a bit of footage yourself. I don't need to tell you. Okay, so uh, finally I sank this guy. I go to Reaper side out and get his loot. And uh, I see a ship in the distance. And uh, I think... Huh, I would like to sink the ship because I saw that it had an MSC flag, but I did not have resources, so I just gave up on the idea and I went there to give them my two resources I had. I had like, I had some food left, so, and a lot of food, so I wanted to give that away before logging off. And uh, even though I, <laughs> even though I uh, fired three, uh, white white uh, firecrackers let's say even though i fired three of them they uh, just ran away and uh, they still had some loot there and uh, yeah what do you do when uh, someone that you wanted to give some resources runs away and leaves you some loot well uh, i don't know about you but i just stole it ran to the first outpost I saw and sold it and uh, got myself 10 grand well 10 grand, 10 gold 10,000 gold so uh, yeah from this the uh, when I sold the reapers I got 22,000 gold from the hour class which was pretty good and the MSI flag plus a book that I find found randomly and plus what I stole from that guys i got around 10,000 gold so it was overall a productive day but even if it was even if that guy sank me at right there at the end i would have still left with something for example in the second fight i literally r learned so to get so much better at bailing water and shooting cannons because if I didn't know that I would have sank and uh, yeah I learned more of that and that's why I like fighting people because I learned cannons I learned well I learned a lot of stuff anyway cannons I still need to learn I suck at firing but anyway um uh, yeah this is the video basically this was the craziest fight of i found something that i want to learn to ask you guys when the video is over is to subscribe plus because my uh, subscribe ratio is really really low and it's pretty frustrating to see that a lot of you are not subscribed so please subscribe if you are not subscribed because it helps me out a lot to make these videos I don't have much time with school and everything and uh, when I 
get one subscriber or more, I just... I feel accomplished. I feel that... I... 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 I...